Hey guys, it's Golden Steel TV here. We're back with another Minecraft video. This time, we're gonna show you lots of new things that I had recently built. <clears throat> First off, um, excuse my voice. Um, we're gonna talk about the Super Bowl and how it turned out to be. <clears throat> Super Bowl 54 turned out to be a good game. It was a great game to watch, unlike last year, which was fucking boring as hell. But, uh, it was so good to watch. Even the halftime show was so good to watch. Even with when you, even with Shakira and Jennifer Lopez twerking, it was pretty entertaining. All right, um, let's talk about the game. The Super Bowl 50 had 49ers versus Chiefs. Initially, 40, the 49ers had their lead, but they blew it in the fourth quarter when the Chiefs made a huge comeback, and they were able to seal their their first Super Bowl victory since 1970. Patrick Mahomes was named the the MVP of the game, um, and uh, that was a good game. All right. The Chiefs' Super Bowl victory also marks the first time that Andy Reid has won a Super Bowl ring in, throughout his coaching career. <coughs> Alright. It's a new graffiti graffiti that I put up on the on the back of the nightclub. And uh It was done in memory of a of a guy who who passed away recently and of course, the person that I'm talking about is Kobe. This is the video game mural from 1981 to 2009 from when from from when Donkey Kong came out to when Minecraft came out. All right, this is what it says. Kobe Mamba forever, number 8, number 24, the numbers that he wore throughout his career. Number 8 was what he initially wore for the first 10 years of his career, then switched to 24 for the rest of his career. Alright. Alright, that's a mural that I- that's a graffiti that I put up to honor Kobe. Alright. Um. The 49ers initially had to leave, but they blew it. Ironically, the coach of the 49ers, Kyle Shanahan, was actually the uh, an offensive coordinator for the Fal for the Atlanta Falcons that blew a 25-point lead in Super Bowl 51. Clearly, I think that guy hasn't learned his lesson from Super Bowl 51. <coughs> he choked and he choked again, which is pretty funny, you know, considering that he used to coach a, that he used to be an offensive coordinator for. A team that blew a 28-3 lead in Super Bowl 51 against the Patriots. <laughs> Alright, I'm glad Patrick Mahomes got his ring. And I want to congratulate him and the Chiefs for winning the Super Bowl. So, the team that I rooted for has finally won it all. And I'm, and I'm, and I'm glad they did. Okay. The movie theater that I that I had built for weeks is finished, and um, I'm gonna show you in a bit. It also has an Easter egg that has a humorous historical reference. I'll show you right now. This is Showplace Earthland, which is a movie theater, basically. Weathering with you, Bad Boys for Life, War is Hell, Birds of Prey, Sonic the Hedgehog. All right, War is Hell. For those of you who don't know, War is Hell was the movie that Lee Harvey Oswald watched after assassinating John F. Kennedy. <sighs> after assassinating him with a sniper, Oswald fled the building that where he shot JFK and and went on a chase that and, and along the way he he shot a Dallas police officer that got in his way and then fled to a movie theater where he watched War's Hell and then was arrested for it. Two days later, of course, he was sh he he 
Oswald was was too shot and killed when when a guy named Jack Ruby crept up in front of him and shot him in the abdomen. He was pronounced dead a couple hours later. So that's basically the whole Lee Harvey Oswald story, which is the story behind uh, the War is Hell Easter egg that I put up. All right, this this is what the movie. This is what the this is what this room looks like, and here's the where the camera is supposed to show the movie, and that and the skull on fire is is of a screen that's that's showing the movie. All right, we also have a few new changes to the school. They're just minor, but but still significant because two new two new areas have been changed the rest of the school remains un unchanged but uh two rooms have been renamed in honor of uh, of of two people that have passed away recently all right this is Drury Meadows High School named after a school in Jacob Tutu, which was a show that I used to watch back in the day on Cubo. <coughs> All right. Um. All right, this is the gym. It's been renamed in honor of Gianna Bryant, Kobe's daughter, who died along with him. In, in a helicopter crash that killed seven other people on board. So as you can see here, it says Gianna Bryant Memorial Gymnasium in honor of Kobe's daughter that died along with along with her father and seven other people on board. I wanted to honor her memory, not just Kobe's memory, by renaming this gym in honor of Gianna. And um, since she was in, since he she played basketball like Kobe, I decided that uh, the basketball gym was a perfect place to rename the basketball gym in, in honor of her. All right, this auditorium is being renamed in honor of Kirk Douglas, who passed away recently at the age of 102 or 103. I'm, I'm not sure if it's the exact age, but uh. I just wanted to honor him this way by renaming this auditorium in memory of him. <clears throat> okay, um... <clears throat> Having talked about Gianna, Kobe and Gianna's death in a helicopter crash, this also comes, comes with a big announcement. Um, the hostage short film that I will do this spring will be dedicated to both Kobe and G Gigi and and seven other people that died with them in the helicopter crash so uh this one's for you Kobe and Gianna and seven other people on board who are watching this from heaven I hope you're impressed and I hope you I and I hope you're proud that I'm renaming my my stuff after you guys Okay, um, we have a few new things to show you, but, uh, while we do that, let's, we could talk more about a few other things that happened lately. <coughs> we had the NBA All-Star Game that aired on TNT and TBS with Team LeBron against Team Giannis. The leaders of the team, the leaders of the teams were, were... LeBron James for Team LeBron that won the game by scoring 157, which was the target score. And Team Giannis, led by Giannis, whose last name I still can't pronounce correctly. This arena just got turned into a hockey arena for a bit. I'll turn this back into a, into a basketball arena after this video. How does it look? As a, how does this look as a hockey arena? Does it look does it look nice? Does it look ugly? Let me know in the comment section below and let me know what changes should I made to this hockey rink. 
Uh, I rarely talk about hockey, as I prefer to talk about basketball and football, but, uh, I decided to bring hockey to, to my land, because sports are not complete without hockey, and, uh, why would I talk about sports without mentioning hockey? These are the sponsors right here, and, uh, pause the video if you want to look at the sponsors, Otherwise, just just keep going with this video. Okay. All right. Um, Team LeBron had had starters that were all from the Western Conference, including um, James Harden, Luka Doncic, Anthony Davis, Kawhi Leonard, who was named MVP of the All Star Game. And Team Giannis, the losing team, which included which included Easter Conference starters that Giannis picked, which were Joel Embiid and um, Pascal Siakam, just because they're his African brothers. For those of you who don't know, Giannis is a uh, is was actually born in Greece, but he's actually Nigerian through his parents who immigrated from Nigeria, which is located in Africa. Both Joel Embiid and Pascal Siakam are from Cameroon. The other two Easter Conference starters on Team Giannis were Trey Young and... I think it was... Hmm... I forgot his name, but uh... Uh, okay. While I figured that out, the All-Star Reserves were, um, Russell Westbrook, Chris Paul, um, Nikola Jokic, and, and a couple of others to name. The Easter Conference re Team Giannis Reserves were, were Jimmy Butler, Bam Adebayo, and, um, Brandon Ingram. And that's pretty much it. The only got the only person that got the only the only player that got replaced due to injury was Damian Lillard, who was supposed to be he was who was supposed to be an All Star reserve on LeBron's team, but because of a groin injury that he sustained, he was he was replaced by Devin Booker, which was which was actually deserving because Booker had been snubbed when when after the all-star voting but once but once Damian Lillard got injured book it was decided that De Devin Booker should replace him and I'm happy for that all right all right we also have the three-point contest the skills challenge and uh and the slam dunk contest, which was particularly controversial because uh, Aaron Gordon dunked on a guy who stood at 7'5", but, but Dwayne Wade for some reason decided that it didn't, that it wasn't good enough, so he awarded, um, um, so Aaron Gordon wasn't named the winner. Instead, um, instead, instead, Derek Jones Jr. was named the slam dunk contest winner. It was a controversial decision, and uh, fans were outraged that Aaron Gordon wasn't named the winner, even though he he scored a he. He scored on an impressive slam dunk in the contest. In my opinion, it was bullshit that Dwayne Wade did, didn't 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 give um, Gordon the perfect score. You know, <clears throat> it was bullshit. You know that Aaron Gordon was was robbed of a of being named the winner of the slam dunk contest. Oh well, Aaron Gordon decided that 
After the controversial slam dunk contest, Aaron Gordon vowed in a press conference that he would never participate in the slam dunk contest ever again. And, uh, that's pretty understandable, considering the controversy that, that it caused. Alright, this is the village called Chelmsford. Alright. Alright. Let's move on to something else. Um, this, this rail project is, has been going forward lately, and, um, this rail system is supposed, this rail system project this, this rail system project is supposed to is expected to last um last a couple of months this is the bridge named after Tom Brady and uh, this project could take months to, could take months to complete <coughs> and um I don't expect it to be finished soon but I anticipate that it could be finished later this is a new station that that was built to serve this village <coughs> <clears throat> and of course the shiny new bridge which is which I think looks impressive it's a, it's actually inspired by a bridge in LA and um, this bridge is called the Kobe Bryant Memorial Bridge named in honor of Kobe after his death and um, I wanted to honor Kobe that way by having his name Im immortalized by naming this bridge after him. How does it look? Let me know in the comment section below what do you think of this bridge. Alright. <coughs> Moving on to the next station. <coughs> the person that I forgot was an, was an Easter conference starter on Giannis's team was Kemba Walker. Uh, I took a little while to figure out his name, but, uh, happy that I got, got that figured out. Alright, this is the station built to serve the, the, the village of Wakefield. This is the bridge called the Infinite Bridge. Uh, basically just a truss bridge crossing over the river. Same with this one called the Michael Jordan Bridge. Call, yeah. It's called a Michael Jordan Bridge, named after a hometown hero who played for my local basketball team. This is the Mercury Crater, named after Freddie Mercury. And uh, I can make up a story based on how how Crater got created in the first place. And this is also another bridge called the Silver Bridge. And um, moving on to the next station. Alright. And this is the, a small station serving this small village called Palmer. <coughs> and uh, let's show you, I'm gonna show you a bit of what I've done so far for, the, for this rail project. And this is the, another station called Stafford to serve this village of the same name. As you can see right here, the name Stafford. Alright. Alright. I still can't pronounce Giannis' last name correctly, so... If you guys know how to pronounce his last name, please help me learn how to pronounce his last name right. And I'll love you guys if you do. And to help me pronounce his last name, please tell me how to pronounce it in the comment section below. Okay. This is the Casimir Pulaski Bridge, named after a guy from Poland that actually saved George Washington's life in the American Revolution. He was killed in, a, in the war, but uh, his name has been immortalized by the Polish community in America, and especially back in Poland where he was born. Alright, this is the village of Schiller, being served by the station of the same name. Uh, it's a German-speaking town, and as you can see from the name, as it's implied. <coughs> and we also got a bridge named after a German NBA legend, and, uh, of course, and of course, um, 
the person that I'm talking about is Dirk Nowitzki, who played for the Mavs for his entire career from 19 from 1998 to 2019, and won the NBA Finals in 2011. Okay, moving on to the next bridge, which is the longest bridge that I've built so far. But first, here are the county welcome signs. Welcome to Kennedy County, people of nature. The people welcome you to Pulaski County by the sword. <coughs> Here's the Leonardo da Vinci Causeway, because why not? It's a causeway, since it's a long bridge. <coughs> it's so long that, um, that it took a lot of work to build this bridge. And this is the suspension bridge built along, along this project. And, um, what do you think of that bridge? In my opinion, I think it's the most impressive bridge that I've built so far in this project. And this is the Abraham Lincoln Bridge, named after, you know, the president that served in the Civil War. <laughs> and this is just an overpass. With no name. With no special name. Just, it's just being called Crystal. And this is the village of Harris that's being served by the station of the same name. <laughs> All right. All right. Moving on. This is the Brit. This is the bridge that's that's unfinished, but uh, it's already it's already got a name already. It's gonna be called the the Vincent Van Gogh Bridge. And um, the bridge will be inspired by a bridge in France that's basically an arch bridge because you know how Vincent van Gogh lived in France all right all right and here's here are here are two more county welcome signs but uh let's move on this is the uh, uh an unpopulated village with just a farm fields and a water well called Hastings. The the poll that let that let you guys choose the name for this village came came too close to a call, so so I'm gonna have to decide between two names. Hastings, the winner that was declared before the before some guys voted for St. Margaret for St. Margaret that actually had the most votes on the poll but that came too close to a call so uh I'm gonna have to flip a coin and decide the f the final name of that village so it's gonna be Hastings or St. Margaret so uh I'll do that off screen and the name will go into effect once once the name is decided okay this is Hartley, the village that's being served by the rail project that still that has not connected the two lines, the pre-existing line and the line that's still under construction. And um, the station is being relocated here, which which says it all when you read this sign. And, and shortly thereafter, this this. The old station will be demolished, and a new station will will replace it and serve this village as part of the as part of the project. <coughs> All right, we got another bridge to show you, and um, it's named after a legendary mariachi singer named v Vincente Fernandez. And we got a small station that just got completely rebuilt. So instead of being a, a shiny, flashy station, it's instead just a just a simple station with two simple platforms with no shelter. They're just they're relatively small, given that the village is is sparsely populated. All right. So this station will only be used if absolutely if it's absolutely necessary. All right. We got a a few more updates to show you. All right. This is um 
this is San Noob, the San Noobie Station. It will be expanded to accommodate the new, the new rail project system that's still being built. And we also got a, a big, uh, a, we also gave this castle a new name, and uh, it's called the Hampstead Castle. Hempstead Castle, if I pronounce it correctly, here it is, the new name of this castle. Everything about this castle, everything else about it, remains unchanged, except for the flag, which is the Polish flag. I only, I change flags, I switch flags in this castle tower, um, occasionally. And we got the, and we expanded the hotel to include the, to include a hot tub and a tennis court. To make this hotel an attra attra a little bit more attractable. And as you can see, it's a little bit narrow, but uh, that's what I've done so far. This is Victoria Beach with the Spanish name in the on the same sign. Since this, is this city is supposed to be a Spanish-speaking city. Right, we also got another beach that just got named already. And, um, here it is. It's called Trinity Beach, or Playa Trini Trinidad, Trinidad in Spanish. <coughs> okay, um, that's all I could show you from the new, from the resort city that just got expanded. I might include one, a few more things, like like a like a basketball court and a nightclub and bar so so i can make the resort city of san nube a little bit more attractable <coughs> and more and more fun to visit okay um we're heading back to the city of canton to catch a train ride home all right other stuff that's been going on lately in football we still got news to talk about Eli Manning has retired from the NFL after after 16 years with the league after 15 years with the league and um, he retired as a New York Giant which was his wish and um, that marked the end of the Eli Manning era that spanned from 2004 when he was drafted by the San Diego Chargers. <clears throat> well, actually, the San Diego Chargers were were actually the team that drafted Eli Manning in 2004, first overall, but he refused to play for the, for the Chargers, so he ended up being traded to the New York Giants immediately afterwards for Philip Rivers who also had a solid career with the with the Chargers. <coughs> Eli meanwhile had also had a solid career which produced two Super Bowl wins against the Patriots in 2008 and 2012 and uh was named a pro bowler a couple of times and uh one worthy mention is that Eli comes from a family of quarterbacks, of course, with his brother Peyton and his father Archie. And uh both Mannings have retired, which which marks the end of the uh, the family's dominance in the NFL. But fear not though, because there's another Manning that's being that that has a seed being planted. He's actually the son of their of their other brother of the other Manning brother, um, Cooper, and uh, the new Manning that's that could dominate in the NFL someday is Arch Manning, named after his father, named after named after his grandfather. He's playing football in high school, the same school where, at a school in New Orleans, the same school where his two uncles Peyton and Eli played before they headed off to college. I'm not sure which college should Arch go, but likely it could be Ole Miss or LSU or Duke. But it's too early to say that because he's still in his freshman year and 
we should all give him some time to develop and succeed. So, uh, <clears throat> so we'll leave we'll leave that we'll leave that in the f we'll we'll leave that up to the future <clears throat> because it's too early to to tell what's his future gonna be. But we hope his future lies ahead. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. Um. And uh, the quarterback free agency free agency has gotten bigger. Philip Rivers has cut off ties with the Los Angeles Chargers. He could he is likely to go to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers or another team. Tom Brady's future with the Patriots is uncertain. It's unknown if he's going to stay with the Patriots or go to another team. But if it's if he decides to leave New England. That could mark the end of the of the Brady Belichick dynasty that had that has lasted for two decades. <clears throat> and um Jameis Winston, who famously threw for thirty touchdowns and thirty interceptions in 2019, could stay with the Buccaneers, as the Bucks have ha are seemingly committed to him for a couple more years. He's recently had LASIK surgery to repair his vision that that Hillary that if it wasn't funny if it's if if it if that wasn't funny enough actually actually, actually ca caused him some vision problems that fu that if it's not funny enough that if, in case that wasn't funny enough actually had him Throw more interception th than touchdowns. <laughs> All right, we're back home in the village of Floyd. All right, we're home now, home sweet home. Enough of football talk. We can now rest in this lovely little home. All right, the script for the hostage short film is done. I need to finish on the script for the romantic short film that's coming out. That's gonna be filmed throughout the summer, and uh, it's not finished yet. But I hope to get that finished as soon as possible. All right, these are all the big announcements that I want to make, and uh, yeah. All right, these are all the villagers that that live in this village. <coughs> all right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.